All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have just wrapped session five. Um, if you haven't been following along so far, I don't know why you would wind up here, but uh, basically I, after each game, talk about what went into getting ready for it and how the adventure actually went and if there are lessons learned and takeaways and those sort of things. So tonight we did Eel's End as well as the Meet the Mob um, event. So let me just go quickly through the sheet and we'll talk about the recap. So um, I'm, I didn't over prepare and I did make one mistake during running the module. The image that I shared I said was the um, Ben Carlo character. It was actually the ambassador. I don't know why we need the ambassador's face as far as an illustration goes, so that's fine. If it hadn't been labeled in Fantasy Grounds, I could have maybe covered that mistake a little bit better, but I just didn't understand that during prep, and, and it's probably a relatively minor point in the overall adventure, so it's not a major mistake, but in general I could have done a little bit better in getting my characters straight, keeping them straight, and uh, understanding who's who amongst all of this. The Van Carlo character is going to become important later, the Ambassador character, as far as I can tell, is not. So that's um, water under the bridge. A little bit of a mistake there, and I need to spend some more time just reading. I do better when I have fully absorbed the material and can kind of go back in, and there may be things that I'm not foreshadowing correctly or otherwise not preparing, but uh, just in general, um, read, read, read. Right? It's, a, it's a big book, and I actually do have this little uh, pocket version. So this is a very popular adventure. You cannot buy this in hardback, to my knowledge, at any reasonable rate anywhere. Um, you can get this little little paperback, um, but I do mean little. So this print is like super, super fine print, hard to read stuff, especially when you're as old as I am. I'm bifocals for sure to read this. So, I, you know, I've got the PDF and I'm, I'm struggling to read it in other ways and it's just in my butt um so also i noticed while preparing for tonight that there weren't a lot of stats for the npcs so i went ahead and, and used stats and again i'm just uh putting in surrogates so for the uh, enforcers i used spies for the king of spiders i used an assassin um i did this for several of the other named npcs that were in the module thinking well we might encounter them or we might run into them we didn't uh, total waste of time on my part, but you know it's better to have than not. Um, the dragon's breath smoke. I was prepared to use some unconsciousness effects. Basically, if you look at the monster manual, all of the different monsters causing unconsciousness do the same thing. It's a um, so I prepared that. Uh, go in there. Um, it's fine, and I didn't bother with some of the unique treasure or monster types this time as, as far as conversions go. I had already done so much to sink in different uh, characters and stuff that I figured plenty of detail. And fundamentally, that instinct was right because they didn't wind up exploring hardly any of this. Um, so what did I have? From earlier, I had to meet the mob and the Eamon stuff, the rioters. They talked their way through that encounter, so... Uh, those stats were not needed, but they were there. For this prep session, I got the uh, Eel's End ready. I put the portal, the teleporters on the map, so the wonderful Fantasy Grounds module add-on. If anybody has any questions about how to operate that, let me know. I could probably do a tutorial on that. I think I'll later in the week, but um, it's totally worth it. They can move themselves around the map. It's a lovely, wonderful. Foundry has a similar module. Like I said, I used spies for the Eels and Enforcers. I touched up all the encounters. Uh, Tuggins, Anukpit, Rajik, Vera, etc. All of these folks, I used the same spy stats, so I didn't like dig deep. Um, the Rock Gnome Recluse is the one a little bit different. came out of Ice Spire, but um, they didn't even talk to these people. Didn't know they existed, so it was not used. Uh, the Throne of Spiders encounter, the Vargo, that was, it was ready, right? didn't need it um they uh did this uh free the dragon thing which i i expected that they uh talk a little bit about what i expected 
Um, you know, I touched on the treasure, and there's an editor cap down there and stuff, but it, it, as it happens, they didn't explore, they didn't encounter, they didn't sneak, they didn't fight, they just talked their way through. Um, there was Game of Knives played, uh, which, you know, we mostly ran by the sidebar. Uh, watch the adventure, you'll see the, the guy couldn't hit him. Freaking amazing, but whatever. I probably should have done something with advantage and disadvantage, but remember, those cancel out. So when they play knivesies, their left hands are bound together, and um, there's one dagger on the table and stuff. So um, ideally, you know, if somebody's tied to you, you've got advantage to hit them with the dagger, but also your hand's tied, so you probably have disadvantage on the attack. I didn't. I, I wound up letting that watch. It wasn't very mechanically effective because the guy missed every single attack, but it like, rolled like six attacks, so... I just think that was a string of bad luck. And it just goes to show you, dice are dice, man. If they truly are random, you're not guaranteed to hit. Maximum bonus, whatever. Um, still not necessarily going to hit. So the night that those series of rolls definitely showed that. Uh, so we, uh, I thought we'd do the meet the mob on the way back from the meat shop. We did. Um, I thought it might be an opportunity to let Varric escape, and they totally caught on to that early. They're, they're getting to know my play style, so... That's good. They prevented that. Um, I did not do the Azig interaction. I should have because it came up later. So I need to listen to myself and pay more attention to my own prep. Um, um, we started a little late again. So as it was, you know, felt a little rushed. And I just sort of let that slip out. Um, it's a little bit compressed. They got the reward. There was no desire to go shopping. Uh, they went drinking instead, which was, was kind of fun. Um, drinking... Uh, night out, day out. They talked their way through everything. For myself as much as anybody else. Um, and yeah, they finished Ilza. So I got more prep to do before next week. Um, they leveled to three. And uh, I wrapped up tonight by saying I was going to come over and record this and jump back in and see if anybody has any help. I see that we've still got five of them on, so they might still need something. Um, so yeah, takeaways from tonight. Um, the party did not murder Hobo their way through things. Great. They um, were leaning on the captain of the guard for a little more money than they might have otherwise had, but honestly, there's so much magic and so much treasure in this, it's probably not an issue to let them have it. Um, the, there's these special badges that you're supposed to get if they kill the guy, but I decided to just go ahead and leverage it now. Um, because they might have won that fight. I don't know. That's irrelevant. But just in general, right, um, should prepare a little more, spend a little more time on it as far as reading and really getting the material together, walking through it maybe once in my head. Um, so I underprepared a little bit for this time. Um. Perhaps I got lazy because last time I didn't have to do any at all, you know. But um, so that's the point of improvement in general. Really proud of the way the things went. The party's really gelling. I need to hit them pretty hard with a combat as soon as I can, just to make sure that we keep up the stakes in the game. Because um, it's fun to talk your way through everything, but you know, D and D rewards character creation in certain ways. So we need to make sure that that's in there. Um, because they avoided those last two fights. Okay, you know. It's their game to play through it how they want. So don't get me wrong there. But, um, I just realized this title's incorrect. But I do want to kind of hit all three of the pillars if I can in combat's one. As it were. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, if there's any other direction you want to see this go, leave it comments where you find it or message me on the discord again there's a discord invite down in the corner of every one of these videos doors always open come on down you guys meanwhile i'm going to get back and see if they need any help leveling up and hopefully i'll see y'all next week thank you and have a great night